Hello again, graduate scholars. Dr. Bohannon here. Week three is almost upon us, and I wanted to give you a video tour of where to find your assignment as well as some examples of assignments that have been done before, just to give you some idea of what the expectations are for your blog post. You'll notice in the news, I posted a new news item about blog post with a link to my blog as well as three blogs from my undergraduate students who are all majors in professional communication. So have a look at their blogs, have a look at my blog and kind of give it a look in terms of what you think multimodalities work and what they don't for your blog specifically. Okay, so question one, oh my god, Dr. Bohannon, where do I find the blogging guidelines? So if you're on our course homepage, you're going to go to Major Assignment Guidelines, and you'll see Blogging Assignment. Click on that. You should see an HTML document come up that looks like this. A blog is a public writing space where you share information, thoughts, and ideas that you want to be read by an audience. Similar to online journals, Blogs are only rhetorically successful, we've been talking a lot about this, rhetorically successful if their authors are able to draw web traffic to them. A blog is part of your or your client's electronic identity or e-dentity. So you can read through the rest of this, but what I want you to do for this assignment, you'll see here, I want you to create a simple blog using WordPress or EduBlogs if you don't have your own domain already. Create a simple blog and write four, four blog posts that incorporate the multimodal elements that we talked about. Now, each post does not have to have all of these elements, but it does need to have at least two elements per, I'm sorry, yes, at least one in addition to text. So two elements, linguistics and then either expression, ocular, acoustics, Structure doesn't really count for this because the structure of it kind of is embedded. So we need to make sure we have some visuals. We need to make sure we have a, po a podcast or some recording, maybe a video. And then also the idea of expression. Expression in a textual sense can mean the color of the text that you use, how you arrange the text on the page. That kind of thing is uh, expression, not so much structure. So at least one in addition to the linguistics, to the text, per post. So you need four of these. Okay, you may use your own choice of platform, but if you haven't blogged before, I do in fact suggest WordPress if you want a general blog, or EduBlogs if you are in the field of education. If your school or company already has a website, you may want to write your posts for those spaces as well. I always like for my grad students to have applications that they can take to their places of work. So. Minimum of four. Average word count is 800-ish words per post. That's an average post uh, number of words for either an academic or a professional blog post. Minimum of four, more if you like. Here are the multi multimodal elements. And then I want you to put tags at the, each of each, at the bottom of each post because tags are what draw traffic to your specific post. They're keywords. Think of them as, as keywords. And then also, I want you to then um, obviously post, uh, I obviously submit to the D2L Dropbox. You will submit your blog as, uh, as a link in the Dropbox and then also you will in the comment section of the Dropbox I really want to get an idea of uh, what you thought about this. I want a textual script uh, and link to your blog. I also want you to write a brief reflection on your experiences with this assignment. So the textual script is basically you telling me in your own words what each blog post was about. So it's basically an abstract of each so I have an idea of what you're going for with each post and also uh, a brief reflection because I am always interested in your feedback so that I can make my graduate classes better for future students. So let's have a look quickly at a couple of blogs. And these are public and that's another thing to consider. So you wouldn't want to post anything on these blogs that you don't want everyone on the World Wide Web to see. This is one of my students who's very artist artistic and very creative. So this is her 
self image that she's done. This is her about me page. She talks about her identity. She provides a link, which is a multimodal element. She provides another link here and then links throughout. And this is her about page. And typically about page, an about page for you all will look something like this, which is, is, is mine as well. So I've got a visual, yeah, but and, and I've got, you know, a link to my CV, and I've got things like that, but it's important in a professional blog also to not make it look like it's for elementary school kids, unless that's your profession. So just be aware of your audiences with everything else you want to take into account. Audience, diction, and purpose. Your blog should explain who you are in this space, your posts should ex should be directed to gain a specific audience and to drive traffic to your site. So here are the examples. Another example of an, an English 1101 course that I teach and uh, students have blogged in that course and I do as well. So if you have any questions, always shoot me an email or post in the discussion forum. And I look forward to reading your blogs. Thanks.